what's happening guys lightning snow back today with another video today i got another three-way video for y'all i got my boys sage and sick tabs and loco back with me say hey everybody y'all yo what's up y'all it's good to be on here uh you know always good to be uh teaming up with loco and my boy lightning to make some magic so yes sir we gonna have a good time today you know coming on here to hype up my boy sasuke i'm in enemy territory i got uh two kakashi fanboys to my left and right so we gonna have to see what uh what we're gonna do about it. Now look, we say it proudly. Yeah, say it. <laughs> <laughs> now look, full disclosure: these are my top two favorite characters. Literally, like Kakashi's number one, Sasuke's number two. So this is this is top for me, which is actually the inspiration of doing this video to begin with. Because you know, I mean, this has been a topic that's been debated over years, I think. But like, which Sasuke are we talking about, y'all? Like, what? That's the thing. We're talking about different forms. We have at least like what six to seven rounds of these characters fighting. So, um. Not to go into it yet, so we'll just kind of go by one by one and uh, just kind of go from there. Uh, so, Sage and Loco, are y'all ready to go? Y'all ready to get into this? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right, so the first versions of the the Kakashi and Sasuke um, video that we're going to do is two Tomoe versus two Tomoe kids. You know, Sasuke doing the tuning exams, uh, Kakashi when he, you know, got his, you know, right too long after he got his, his showering gone. Uh, this one's pretty interesting because uh, it's one of those things like this is probably one of the most debatable ones. Uh, it's almost as debatable as like Sasuke versus Neji in the shooting exams. Uh, I think these two are synonymous when they when it comes to their moveset and how smart they are. Uh, at this point, they're not really known for being like tacticians, but they are geniuses of their age and of their era. Uh, and they're both respected users of the Sharingan, incredible users of the Sharingan. Both have, I can't remember if Kakashi at this point has more than two nature affinities going for him, but I know for yeah, sure he is. He's a, he's a Jonin, so he has at least two. Okay, yeah, so he has at least two, yeah. And then Sasuke has two going for him at this point. He's got Fire Style, and he's got Chidori. Uh, I, for me personally, uh, I would probably lean more towards Kakashi, only if because of the experience he has on Sasuke. You know, Sasuke's, you know, dealt with, you know, deadly opponents such as Haku before, and Gara. you know, you know giving, him, giving him the fight with Gara, But... Kakashi's fought in a literal war and fighting Jonin probably on a daily basis, if not semi-daily basis. Uh, so I think he's just got more. And plus, he's we you know he's sparred and trained with Minato, you know, cat like almost all the time. If, not, if I'm not wrong, so I think Kakashi would probably have the edge here. Uh, Sage, what you got first? Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't think it's close. Um, the, the here's the thing. So Sasuke began to be looked at as like a Chunin level combatant around the time he got the Chidori. Like before that, they were like, yeah, like you, you know, you you could be around that Chunin tier. But when he had the Chidori, they're like, okay, you're you're like Chunin level. Um, meanwhile, Kakashi's a Jonin. Yeah, at that ten ish years old at this point in time. He's the youngest Genin and Chunin of all time at five and six years old. He's got at least two ch changes in chakra nature because he's a Jonin. He's mastered the Rasengan and developed slash mastered the Chidori. Like, the plus again, uh, like Lightning was talking about, he has a massive experience edge. So I just don't think that Sasuke has what he needs in order to take somebody down like this. Uh, their speed should be somewhat comparable at bare minimum. Um, so to me, it, it seems pretty clear that Kakashi just gaps him here. Uh, what, what do you think, Loco? Well, it seems like all three of us are, uh, coming to the same conclusion. Like, Sasuke is extremely impressive. His Taijutsu speed is on par with that of Rock Lee, possibly with all of his, uh, uh up to the fifth gate open, right? And of course, like they, like they mentioned, he did learn the Chidori at a very young age, but he is still... Like gaining the tuning level, and Kakashi is already a Jodin at a very young age with actual battle experience. Like he grew up as a child soldier during the uh, the Third Great Shinobi War, so he's seen real combat. So while Sasuke has a lot of experience at this point in time, Kakashi is just in a different league. He became a Jonin at a very young age, like Sage mentioned. And he has real combat experience from fighting in the third grade Shinobi War. Honestly, there's not much Sasuke can do here, but y'all can have this round, right? <laughs> we can, we can, Sasuke will take some dubs later on in this video. I know it. All right, so now we'll move on to, we said, a beginning of Ambu Kakashi versus Battle the End Sasuke. All right, so Loco, you want to take the reins on this one first? Yeah, so actually, this is where I begin to hype up my boy Sasuke. This is where I see him taking some W's, you know? So, honestly, 
Sasuke from the Final Valley is approaching this high Joni level now, in my opinion. Uh, the easiest way to demonstrate this would be that after fighting Naruto at the Final Valley, he goes into Orochimaru's hideout and starts giving um, Orochimaru some attitude, you know, he's, he's talking back to him. And then Kabuto tries to check him and he's like, hey man, watch your tone around Orochimaru, man. And Sasuke just looks at him straight in the eyes and flexes his chakra and Kabuto kind of gets scared, man. He's like, what is this chakra? He starts, uh, you know, kind of crapping his pants. So I think that uh, it's this is a very good feat for Sasuke, not only because Kabuto is like this, he stated to be a Kakashi level opponent several times, but this was Sasuke in base doing this, right? And he, uh, Kabuto, if I remember correctly, both uh, Jiraiya and Orochimaru come to the conclusion that Kabuto and Kakashi are on a similar level uh, around the time in the tuning exams, and the data books also back up this uh, this comparison as well. This is this is some great scaling for Sasuke. You can also uh, mention that at the uh, the very first arc in Naruto, when uh, Kakashi and Sasuke and the others were fighting against Zabuza, uh, Kakashi blatantly admits inferiority to Haku and says that he's stronger than him, even though he's a very young little boy, right? And it's actually stated that Naruto was stronger than Haku and was able to overpower him. Uh, later on in the final valley, it said that Naruto was using his maximum extent of his potential, all of the Kurama chakra that he could and was able to use at that point in time. Um, so Sasuke is just relative to a stronger version of Naruto than the one who beat up Haku, who Kakashi himself admitted inferiority to. So I'm thinking Sasuke has some pretty good scaling to win this match. Yeah, so I would, and this is what we talked about, because um, we, we discussed this battle before, and my sort of perception of this was, you know, Kakashi is called Konoha's greatest technician, right? And that's like what makes him so strong. It's not necessarily that he has this overwhelming power or might. It's the fact that he is so polished and so, um, you know, versatile, and you know he's able to maximize what he has to such an extent that he's able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with people who are significantly stronger than him in terms of overall power. And we see this as a continuous theme throughout the entire series. So I would say that, you know, part one Kakashi should still be considered above that version of Sasuke, even if Sasuke has more raw power, simply because whenever we go all the way back to Land of Waves, you know, whenever they're doing the tree climbing exercise, Kakashi straight up says like, yeah, these guys, you know, have more chakra than I do, but you're so inefficient at using it that you're, it's, it's, you're not able to use it to its maximum ability, which is why you can't climb a damn tree, you know? So the, to me, I would say he's still above them just based on the fact that he's a more polished shinobi. He's more capable of using his chakra in a, uh, in, in the way it needs to be used in an efficient way. But whenever it comes to this version of Kakashi, this version of Kakashi has been in the Anbu for a year. You know, he's already in that cold-blooded stage, so he's willing to take life at the drop of a hat. He's also not just got the Chidori now, it's been upgraded to the Raikiri. Now, we know that the Raikiri is a higher-ranking Jutsu than the Chidori, and if you want to say it's just because it has a little bit more AP, it's a little bit more focused, whatever it is, we do know that the Raikiri amps speed. There is some evidence that the Chidori does as well, but it's not as concrete in my opinion. So what I would say is the character that has the greater experience, the character that has, you know, the wider range of arsenal, and the character that has potentially the, the better slash stronger um, finishing blow and greater killing intent, I'm going to lead in that direction, and that would be, you know, this version of Anbu Kakashi. But the thing about Anbu Kakashi is he's very difficult to scale. The only scaling point that we have is he cut a lightning bolt with his Chidori, and it became the Raikiri. So it's like, we know he's a lightning timer, and I would be hard-pressed to get Sasuke to that level of speed um, outside of, you know, just sort of scaling him based on his power. So... I think he should have a speed advantage, so I lean that direction, but I do understand the arguments for Sasuke here as well. It's much closer than the last round. Okay, so where I would lean on it is it, it might be a little situational case in my in my opinion, because if the, the, the if it's round one, you know, fight, I think that Kakashi does pretty well against uh, Sasuke pre-Curse Mark 2. And so if the fight dragged on to that and Sasuke eventually whipped out the Curse Mark 2 state, then I think Sasuke wins. But if 
Kakashi. I think it, it might be possible for Kakashi to wrap up the fight pre uh pre CM2, but if it not though, if if Sasuke starts to overwhelm Kakashi with the the curse mark one stage and eventually he starts to, you know, master the the CM2 stage in that fight, similar to how he was when he fought Naruto in the final valley. I think at the point where it got in the fight, I think Kakashi would be a little bit too worn out to be able to deal with Sasuke at that point. So it is depending on if he can wrap up the fight uh, pre-CM2. Do I think it's possible? Yes, but I honestly give this one a 50-50 because I think the Sasuke with the curse mark amp is is pretty strong. Uh, he was dealing with the, you know, a nine-tailed, you know, baby nine-tailed Naruto relatively easy with just his three Tomoe. So I think it's 50-50 for me, but if uh, Sasuke goes into CM2, I think he's got it uh, over Kakashi. So I will say this, just like one more uh, point that I'd like to make is that if Kakashi was like, if the Raikiri is like a, like super fast, like speed ant for him, like, like Sage mentioned, it is, uh, it does make Kakashi faster whenever he's using it. If Kakashi was like a blitz tier above Kabuto with the Raikiri, then the data books in Jiraiya and Orochimaru would have no basis for saying that Kabuto is relative to Kakashi if he would just get one-shotted by a single jutsu from him. So Kabuto would have to have some way of dealing with or interacting with the Raikiri and basically it either comes down to him tanking it or him having the capacity to dodge it or react to it in some way. And I don't think he's tanking that. I'm not even going to lie. So uh, Kabuto has to be able to react to the Raikiri. And Sasuke is above the likes of Kabuto. So that's how that's my line of logic for uh, Sasuke countering Kakashi's speed with the Raikiri. I just wanted to give my input on that. All right. So now we'll go on to late Ambu Kakashi versus beginning of Shippuden and Sasuke. You know, kind of pre heavy, but um, are, we now, are we doing this with. So we're not doing this with Orochimaru absorbed, correct? We're just doing. No, no, no. Yeah. Getting a Shippuden pre Orochimaru absorbed. Okay, so I'll go first. I uh, I gotta be honest. Um, I think Sasuke. I think Sasuke's got this one. Um, <laughs> uh, now, don't get me wrong, because like, okay, now I'm gonna bring up a comment that was made on one of my past videos. I can't remember which one it was. It might have been the one that me and Loco did uh, about similar topic. But someone in the comment section saying that couldn't the right Kiri cut Kieran like he did with the lightning bolt and I was like well here's the thing you're out of your mind because yeah. like Kieran is not just a lightning strike it's a lightning strike on steroids like I don't know a better way to put it it's a lightning dragon as strong as the it's right Kiri it's called the pinnacle of lightning style too so it should inherently be at the same level as if not higher than the right Kiri yeah like so I'm not trying to sleep on the right Kiri at all but Kieran is a separate entity all together i mean that thing was able to pretty much vaporize uh temporarily get rid of itachi susano the, the second he whipped it out so it's like that thing is no joke so uh yeah uh, sage what you got for you what you want to go first so uh, there are some assertions that you can make to get on kakashi really high um it, it, but there's no actual like scaling like actual feats that we have from him because unfortunately uh, one of the most popular characters in Naruto doesn't have a novel on one of the most mysterious times in his life, and Kishimoto has just not given that to us yet, so, uh... Damn it, Kishimoto. It, that's what I'm saying, bro. We, we need an Anbu Kakashi novel, but the thing is, like, if you really want to take him, you know, and, and put him as high as you can, you basically just have to say something like, Yamato calls him Senpai, considered him a superior, so Anbu Kakashi should be above Yamato, but that doesn't even necessarily get him above this version of Sasuke because this version of Sasuke fodderized Yamato. I guess you could make some even higher assertions, but you just really have to stretch to get there. And the only thing we know for certain about this version of Anbu Kakashi is he's he's, he's going to be far more experienced than Sasuke here. Um, and he does have the lightning timer feat and he does have his dog summons, but ultimately none of that's going to help him against somebody like Sasuke. So I agree with pretty much everything Sage said. I think a lot of people, uh, tend to underrate just how much stronger Sasuke got with Orochimaru. He definitely made a lot more progress over the time skip than Naruto and Sakura did. And one thing I'd like to highlight is how strong his Genjutsu is. Like, for starters, obviously he was able to suppress the Ninetales Shocker inside of Naruto when they first met. 
but when he actually confronts Orochimaru, he's giving him flashbacks of his fight with Itachi. Like he, like Sasuke's Genjutsu is so potent at this point in time that Orochimaru is like, yo, it's just like that day when I fought Itachi. And he uses like a similar Genjutsu on him as well. And of course, he's able to collapse Orochimaru's entire inner world that is stated to be a universe, by the way, uh, that he uses to, uh, to perform the body transfer ritual. So I don't know, man, like this Genjutsu might be one shot in Gagashi if I'm being totally honest, but... Uh, this beginning of shipping inversion of Sasuke is still strong, even if he tends to get overlooked. Uh, I totally agree. So I think we're all in agreement. Heavy Sasuke, or, you know, beginning of shipping of Sasuke stops uh, Kakashi. I think, he does, I think Kakashi does pretty well, considering. I think he, he could adapt to the situation, you know, but ultimately... Now, here, here's, here's the thing. I'm open to have my mind changed, depending on what my research yields before my Anbu Kakashi video. But as of right now, I must concede. <laughs> All right, so now we'll move on to what we said, Heavy Sasuke versus Pain Arc Kakashi. Now, this one, ladies and gentlemen, is one that we definitely, oh, we all three were like, we had to get our popcorn and our pins out and our, <laughs> our paper, and we were just like, we had we had to pack a lunch for this one because this one's actually, this one's actually one of the more closer fights in general, I feel like, uh, because these two are no joke. Uh, I think people yeah. definitely, now don't be wrong, I definitely do think that people do sleep on uh, Heavy Sasuke, but I think it's more likely that a lot of people, a lot more people sleep on Takashi's performance in the pain art. Uh, I'm not necessarily saying, saying Loco is, but because we, I just, didn't, <laughs> I, I didn't know, I did a poll the other day about if Heavy Sasuke is underrated or overrated. I had some people saying that he's overrated. I don't think so. I think he's pretty scaled. I do think some people don't take him seriously enough, but that is synonymous with this pain art, Takashi. So, um, Loco. Yeah, uh, uh, you want you want to go first with this one? I think that's a good idea. Heavy Sasuke is my <laughs> topic. That is the that is the stuff I run daily. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, I do tend to uh, scale him pretty high up on the food chain. I do think that he got stronger after absorbing Orochimaru. Many people don't hold this opinion, but uh, when he first confronts Naruto and the rest of Team Seven, he says. Neither Orochimaru nor myself are strong enough to defeat Itachi at this current point in time. But as soon as he absorbs Orochimaru and gathers his little team together, he goes immediately to fight Itachi and hunt him down, therefore implying that he did get some kind of strength and speed increase from Orochimaru's chakra, and of course, he also gets his extra abilities on top of this. This is explained and implied further in the data books in which it says that Along with the White Snake's power, he also gets things like regeneration and poison resistance. But these things are kind of like the side of fries, while Orochimaru's power boost that's provided to Sasuke is like the main course. So, Heavy Sasuke is stronger after absorbing Orochimaru, and he is incredibly fast when it comes to speed. I think he, uh, He's beginning to reach these KCM1 levels of speed, if not even faster, based off the feats we've seen him uh, perform. Specifically the one uh, of where he's just stated and shown to be faster than Daedara uh, throughout their fight. And of course, Daedara was dodging Gara San, like physically reacting, not just on the bird. He was jumping away and outspeeding from Gara San, which was kind of blocking strikes from the Raikage and Amaterasu at the Kage Summit which are both ludicrously fast. So uh, you could also scale the Raikage to KCM1 Naruto. So I think Heavy Sasuke is extremely fast. He has several win cons, like uh, such as Genjutsu, like we mentioned in the last round. And of course, Kieran is still a massive threat. Yeah, so uh, I'll go real quick on this one. I think that for the most part, I think Sasuke holds the physical advantage. Uh, I do think that Kakashi will be able to adapt in you know, a certain... Because again, at this point, he would have surface level knowledge of how Sasuke's abilities are. Because I'm pretty sure either Yamato... I'm pretty sure Yamato already or Jiraiya told them about like what Sasuke whipped out when they first encountered Naruto and Yamato and all that. So like, you know, he probably knows stuff about, you know, Hidori's stream and his lightning style being a little bit more effective. Pretty sure he would be under the impression that like he'd still have some fire style ninjutsu, probably more adept at fire style ninjutsu also. So he definitely wouldn't know things about like Kirin or Orochimaru's uh, absorption. I, I don't want to say, you know, that he, Kakashi would have a plan in place because at this point, man, I, I'm still putting Kakashi's intelligence over Sasuke's, but not by much. 
Like, I don't think it'd be that because Sasuke is no joke as far as being a tactician. So I think if anything, they're right on par with each other. But I think in terms of experience, having a little more experience under his belt, Kakashi would probably edge him out a little bit. Uh, but here's the thing, though, is like, aside from Kamui, it also depends at this point if where Kakashi's at in his mindset. Because I think me and Loco kind of talked about this in our previous video with Kakashi and Sasuke. And it, it depended on a certain situation. If Kakashi's bloodlusted, then there's a chance that with Sasuke not knowing what Kamui is and how it works, that this Kakashi, who was fast enough to teleport a moving missile headed at full speed towards Choji and teleport a nail right in front of Pain, and Pain didn't even notice, that I think that as soon as uh, Sasuke chose to try to whip out Kirin, Kakashi, seeing that something big is coming, is probably going to, you know, decide to use Kamui because that's probably his only option and if he's bloodlusted there's a chance he could take you know to, uh, sasuke's whole body if he's not what i could see kakashi doing is probably taking his arm that's holding up the signal to drop kirin and you know at least disrupting the jutsu that way it's not that would probably be the only thing i could see kakashi being able to do i think the lack of knowledge on sasuke's part about comedy is going to help significantly um in my opinion i would probably give this one to heavy sasuke about six seven out of ten only because of kirin but i am thinking that kakashi could still take it just because of the knowledge that sasuke does not have on kamui and the fact that kamui is improved it's not war arc level yet in terms of speed but it's definitely improved to the point where i think it would throw sasuke off a lot more than what it would in the beginning of uh, shippuden so uh, uh, say that it's your turn. What, what, what you got? Yeah, I mean, I think you guys have covered it pretty well. Like it's Sasuke just has better assertions in terms of his scaling um, and in terms of the narrative. I would say that Kakashi narratively is sort of approaching or just now reaching that Sonin tier of fighter. While it seems like Sasuke is maybe at that level or a little bit higher. Um, some people can argue, uh, some people have argued that, uh, you know, he's above that Sonin tier, which I do think there are good arguments for, but I think most consistently he's like right on that like base sawning level and then you know the, the the next level like the sage mode amp i guess or like the hydra form or you know uh biaku go see like those those amps should clear this version of sasuke but th there's there's at least arguments for him being on that level especially with like the kcm speed stuff there's no real arguments for kakashi here in that regard and the only thing that like i mean if we want to say base to base their speed is somewhat relative which is totally unfounded because we, there's no real speed scaling that we can put a numerical value on for Kakashi. Then once you add in the extra versatility that Sasuke has, uh, plus something like Kirin, which, I mean, obviously it would take time to set up and things like that, and you could maybe argue Kakashi would catch on to what's going on, but I just don't think that he has what it takes to take down an opponent like that, specifically because of the stamina issues. Like, Kakashi's going to get tired way faster than Sasuke is, even if you give him the benefit of the doubt and say they're on the same level scaling-wise, which I don't know if you can make a solid argument for. So, Ebi Sasuke should take this the majority of the time, and if we're going full bloodlust on morals off, you could give Kakashi a couple of Ws for, for Kamui, uh, but other than that, he doesn't really have anything in his bag that would help him here. So I think we're all in agreement on that one. Heavy Sasuke wins this one more often than not, with Kagashi being able to clear it a couple of times, but maybe three. Uh, three out of For me, I think a three out of ten. Uh, I think you'd be able well, to take it. I remember that whenever me and Sage talked about Sasuke versus Jiraiya, like mid-video, I had like, or like mid-recording, I had like a Eureka moment where I'm like, yo, Sasuke can always just tap into Orochimaru's power and yep. just defeat his opponent. So, uh, like Sage mentioned, like the eight-headed Hydra is extremely strong on par with like Sage Jiraiya and everything because it is stated to be Orochimaru's strongest form. So, like, of course, Sasuke does have access to all of Orochimaru's other abilities now. Uh, and I think um, the Orochimaru style snake substitution jutsu is a very hard counter to Kamui because he could just regenerate his entire body uh, with that type of jutsu. And yeah, I just think Heavy Sasuke kind of clears. All right, so now we'll move on to Five Kage Summit. And this is like the, the version of like, it's going to be, you know, synonymous at the exact same time. And we, I know that it might seem like a mute point to do this because we kind of saw this in the original series, but we're kind of doing this in two separate ways because I definitely do think it could be interpreted a couple of different, uh, in a couple of different scenarios. One, let's say if it's at the beginning of the Five Kage Summit where Sasuke just infiltrated uh, at the Five Kage Summit because at that point, he didn't really develop his half body, Susano, until like the end of the 
Gara Raikage section where he cut the pillars. If Sasuke, and like, let's be honest, like, in terms of level headedness, Sasuke is not all there. Like, yes, he's still a tactician, but he's not thinking rationally, is my point. And he's going, he's going a little bit crazy. He's yeah. Like, go, some would say. Yeah. <laughs> Um, definitely pun intended, but you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but so like, and that could play a huge part in fights like this. And so Kakashi, as we all know, for the most part is level-headed. You know, he's only been, he's only lost his cool one time and that was really in the war arc. Uh, and so for the most part, like that could play a huge factor. Like you'd be surprised at how that could possibly change the scope of a fight, especially since this Sasuke is, this hasn't developed fully quote unquote yet. So and being that he's not, you know, 100% used to his monk who's shotting out abilities, as, we you know, he did when he got to the Donzo fight, he's a little more used to how his abilities with Amaterasu, Susanoo works, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, but the flip side of this, though, is that Kakashi, even though he's level-headed, at this point, he hasn't seen Sasuke try to kill Sakura yet. So he might still be a bit reserved on killing Sasuke. And if that's the case, Sasuke is a, even at this point is an opponent you really don't want to hold back on. So I don't know. I think for the most part, Sasuke has like the overwhelming edge in terms of like jutsu variety. Because yes, like Kakashi has more jutsu up his sleeve, but Sasuke's are a little bit more dangerous setting aside Kamui. Uh, now again, back to like, we you know, the pain arc section that we just covered. Knowledge will play a huge factor in this because if... Sasuke has not seen Kamui at this point yet, which he hasn't, then that will play a big part. Especially if, again, if he's going kind of crazy, he's going ham, he's not thinking rationally. Like, if Kakashi is bloodlusted, you know, if he feels like, you know, Sasuke's too far gone, he could get rid of Sasuke, honestly. But that's not how Kakashi's going to be at this point, because he still wants to save Sasuke just like Naruto does. So, um, I don't think Kamui's going to play a factor in the, in the beginning of this fight. So, uh, I, I'm rambling. Say, do you want to go first? Yeah, I, I think, like Lightning was alluding to, it really comes down to mindset, in my opinion. Kakashi's Kamui blatantly outscales Sasuke here. Um, we know that he's able to intercept two of his Susano arrows, and they're smaller um, and fired at the same time. And so, or it, it seems like they're fired at the same time. They could have been fired back to back, but because they're smaller and fired from the same bow, you could you could imply or infer that they are potentially faster than the big one that he fired at Donzo. And Sasuke showed relativity to Donzo. Donzo was not able to dodge the arrow fully, which means Donzo is below the arrow. And if Donzo is below the arrow, so is Sasuke. So because Kakashi's perception and, uh, you know, warping ability is above that of Sasuke's actual physical movement speed, he should be able to get him or at least a large part of him before he moves with Kamui. But is he going to do that? Especially in this early round, whenever he doesn't have the fully developed Susano. If you just plug the controller in and, and you play as Kakashi, you should be able to get the dub 10 times out of 10 if you just rip Kamui off, like, from the very beginning. Like, in the in character, it, it's gonna take a little bit for him to get to that point, and maybe Sasuke Susano develops further. But I, I would just lean in the direction of Kakashi here, simply because the his Kamui outscales Sasuke. Um, and so once he gets serious, it should be over. Um, but once we get into this next round, it gets a little bit more interesting. Yeah, so I think, obviously, Sasuke still needs uh, to develop his Mangekyo a little bit more. Like they were mentioning, he doesn't really have access to a lot of his crazier abilities. Like, he may not have the Susano arrow yet at the beginning of the Five Kage Summit. Even if you disagreed with what I said about, like, Heavy Sasuke being KCM1 speeds, like, Five Kage Summit is definitely there, right? At the beginning of Chapter 463, uh, Sasuke is able to, like, physically react to and dodge Version 1 Raikage's elbow bolt, like, point blank when he's right in front of his face. And Version 1 Raikage was shown and stated to be relative to KCM1 Naruto, in chapter 541 so sasuke definitely is extremely fast at this point in time and even though he's not the best with his mangekyo abilities he still has a good handle on them for example kagetsuchi was just shown to kind of outspeed the raikage even with his version 2 active and his body flicker as well he was able to wrap the Amaterasu around his entire Susano while the Raikage is seemingly moving in slow motion. So this Kagetsuchi might be slamming uh, Kakashi. Like there's really nothing he could do to Amaterasu once it's already on him. He doesn't really have the scaling at this point in time to physically dodge it or anything. Uh, he might be able to see it coming with the Sharingan. Possibly he might be able to see the chakra forming. Uh, but he just doesn't have the speed scaling right now to be able to dodge something 
that hits as hard as Amaterasu. Like, Kakashi just needs to pray that it lands because we know that even at this point in time, his stamina isn't the greatest. Like, he uses Gamui once against Sasuke, and he's he's already, in his own words, wiped out. So, uh, like, I can see him getting a Kamui off on Sasuke, but at the same time, Sasuke is even better with Genjutsu now after getting the Mangekyo. He has uh, the Susano to protect him from all of Kakashi's other attacks. And his Amaterasu Kagetsuchi is ludicrously fast. So okay, so now we'll like move on to like the the the, the second section of this. Again, we're kind of doing it full power. If Sasuke is like, if it is like, it picks up where it left off, then Kakashi just wins because Sasuke's blind. <laughs> but if if we're going like full power, like fully developed Susano, kind of like fresh Sasuke. Like that, I think that's more interesting. Yeah. So let's go. Okay. So we'll, we'll now we'll go on to again the second section of this 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 round where it's full power both, but like Sasuke is a little more fully developed. Pretty much, right when he's about to fight Donzo, the Sasuke was just right about to fight Donzo versus you know full power thought Kage Summit Kakashi. Uh, kind of like Loco was mentioning. Like I think in character, even if they're both bloodlusted, which we're gonna assume they are, because let's say, say Kakashi saw Sasuke about to kill Sakura. It's like, all right, no, nah, screw this. Like, you're not about to do that crap. Like, and it's just like, it, the gloves are off. Um, even if, even if it is bloodlusted in character, I don't see Sasuke whipping out the Susano right off the bat. So, like, the fight might, like, divulge into some Taijutsu, like, some small scale ninjutsu. Uh, kind of similar to, like, the fan animation video that's online, you know, something like that. If it got to the point, though, where they're already kind of pulling out jutsu left and right, and then Sasuke decides to use the Susano and use the Susano arrow, and Kakashi uses Kamui to warp it away. I gotta be honest with you, man. I think Sasuke still got still got it this time because again, like Koko was saying, like just after one Kamui use, Kakashi was not feeling the greatest. And if he's in that state, like he was at the Five Kage Summit, and with Sasuke not being as weakened as he was during that Five Kage Summit, Kakashi's not gonna have the mobility necessary to avoid any other attack following. I mean, maybe he gets lucky and uses like a quick clone or substitution or whatever, but just the way that he was presented, it's crazy that it was it is one shot in the Five Kage Summit, and then in the War Arc, it doesn't seem to happen again. But that's my point though, is like if he uses Kamui once and Sasuke's still not, you know, huffing and puffing much, I, I think Sasuke's got it at that point. So, uh, uh, Loka, you want to go first in this one? Yeah, Kakashi might just be cooked here. Like we, uh, like Sasuke in character does kind of use the Susanoo arrows quite a bit against Donzo, and like like Niso said, just a follow up. He was still getting uh, Kakashi was getting pretty tired after a single use of Kamui. And at this point in time, Sasuke Susano has obviously evolved even further, so I doubt any other jutsu in Kakashi's arsenal besides Kamui would do anything to that Susano. His Amaterasu is just as fast, if not faster. He has accumulated significantly more hatred by now, and we know that hatred, that like the power of their hatred, directly affects the power, uh, like overall, of an Uchiha. Right, so his eyes have been growing as as his hatred does and his anger, basically. So at this point in time, I don't think that there is much Kakashi can do. I think it's even worse for him now, just because of how much stronger Sasuke has progressed in such a short amount of time. Yeah, I would say like again, if, if you because we're, we're taking these characters like fighting seriously, but in character. So you know, Kakashi's not gonna whip out a Kamui immediately. Um, in this scenario, I would also say if you just plug the controller in and you just fire a Kamui off rip, there's a solid chance that you could at least do some severe damage to Sasuke if you're Kakashi. But then if you don't get him in one shot, you're you're kind of screwed. Um, I, I will say, I, I know that we kind of talked about uh, before whether or not Kamui would work on, you know, the Susano, like it would go past the Susano. I personally think that it should be able to manifest inside of the Susano because it's called an unmatched jutsu with no defense against it, which would imply that like a Susano defense wouldn't work. But if you're the interpretation that it would have to warp away the Susano in front of him first and then get to Sasuke, then Kakashi's definitely screwed. Uh, and then also it's worth noting, whenever you go back and you read the fight, they started with the physical skirmish and then it cuts away. And then when it cuts back, Sasuke's already in his Susano firing arrows. So it's like, it is, it is, you know, nice for Kakashi that he 
that Sasuke felt that he needed to use the Susano to bring him down. Like, that that's a testament to how strong Kakashi is at this time. But it's also like, unless he uses Kamui off rip, he's gonna have to use it on one of the arrows. And once he uses it on one of the arrows, yeah, can, can we even argue that it's gonna be as accurate or potent to the next time around? Like, we don't really know. So, yeah, I, I lean in the direction of Sasuke, unless you just plug the controller in and do it yourself. So, yeah. Uh, and I will say something real quick, though, is like, you know, uh, at least in the anime, mm. I'm pretty sure the manga it was said, but I can't really remember. Uh, like you said, Sage, like Sasuke was actually given, like, Sasuke doesn't really do this a whole lot, but he was giving props to Kakashi in that fight. He's like, yeah, for someone who doesn't really, kind of like how Itachi did the part one, he's like, for a borrowed sharding gun, you're really quite skilled at its use. And so, uh, and he even went on to say, like, how impressive that you thought it was that Kakashi mastered the sharding, the manga sharding gun. So, so yeah, I think that's all, like you said, I think it's a testament to how, like, dangerous Sasuke thought Kakashi was. Uh, but I, I definitely agree. I think that Sasuke does take this one more often than not, especially if it's full power. Um, and I was going to save that, uh, that, that point you just brought up for this next entry. Uh, so now we're going to go on to War Arc Kakashi versus EMS. Uh, now this is another one, ladies and gentlemen, that, uh, you know, when we were talking about this before we started recording. Again, back of lunch. But, because... Uh, this Kakashi is way more impressive. I think both Loco and Sage can agree that like this Kakashi oh, yeah. is like by far like some like I don't know. Whenever I was watching it for the first time, I was like flabbergasted at how what I was seeing from Kakashi. So to bring it back to the point around the, what Sage just said, that was something that like all three of us were actually scratching our heads about. Like both Loco, Sage, and me were all thinking like, you know what? Like maybe it is possible we are we're not entirely sure if it is possible for Kamui to just bypass the defense of the snow and just because in, in the fight in the chase with Daedara whenever Kagashi was activating Kamui for the first time it just it just seemed like the portal just kind of manifested wherever Daedara was you know it, it, it wasn't like the portal itself was traveling to Daedara it just yeah it just seemed like it just kind of spawned wherever Kakashi was looking at so if that is the case, if it does apply here, we're not saying it's indefinite. You know, we're not saying it's definitely, it definitely does. It's the same. We don't know. We're not entirely sure. Yeah. If it, if it can, then this Kakashi has a lot more opportunities to take Sasuke out, even in EMS, even if it is is Susano. It's one of those things where you know, me and Loco have talked about this before. You know, we are entirely sure. There's there's cases to be made if Sasuke has his perfect Susano yet or not, because. Madara in his EMS days uh, before he, he died to Hashirama. He, he did have his EMS. It wasn't really present in the manga, but if you look back at the anime, he does have EMS and he does have perfect Susano. So there, it, you could make a case for that, you know, for this Sasuke. Uh, I know some people will probably argue that because we, you know, we didn't see Sasuke whip out the perfect Susano until he got the Renegon. So it, it is up to interpretation, but if, if he does have the perfect Susano, then I do think it's a lot like less likely that Kakashi can land a Kamui because uh, he doesn't look so far above there. But uh, if it's just like the you know the you know the, the lesser peg, you know uh, Susano, the one that was fighting along with Naruto uh, against Obito, then I think Kakashi, if if the Kamui bypass option is available, that I think it's a lot likely, a lot more likely that Kakashi can take the W. Uh, because of how many shots he has with Kamui, how resourceful he is. But if not, I think Kakashi might... I mean, I don't think he's screwed in terms of... In the, in the conventional sense of where I think he just absolutely gets curb stomped. I do think, Susano aside, I think this Kakashi does perform pretty well. When, like, once Sasuke does whip out that Susano, it's a little bit tougher to, to take. So, uh, Sage, you want to go first with this? Yeah, so uh, I think it's very important to whatever we you know, talk about something like Kamui to look at not only the feats, but also the statements, particularly in the data book. And, you know, one of the statements says he focuses his mind on a point beyond his line of sight, which would imply that even something beyond what he can physically see, it should be, you know, able to be sniped um, as long as he knows that it's there. So I do think that that sort of lends credence to the idea he might be able to snipe Sasuke from within his Susano. But even if he can't, if he just makes the surface area of the portal large enough, he should be able to warp away Sasuke and the surrounding part of the Susano that he's in. Then, if, if we establish that, like if he could snipe the head off the Susano, if it's not the perfect Susano, so it's not enormous, right? If he can snipe the head off the Susano, 
then you'd have to argue, in my opinion, that Sasuke would be able to blitz his perception. Because we know that, Sa that Kakashi was able to follow Deidara with his comet. Then we have to look at Kakashi's perception speed. So he's able to move on par combat speed-wise with KCM Minato in the war arc, and he's also able to warp away a hole in Madara's um, uh, True Seeker Orb defense in a shorter amount of time than it takes for 8th Gate Guy to cover like a couple feet. And he can track 8th Gate Guy as he's moving. So to me, I think Kakashi should be favored pretty heavily in this because I do think the Kamui would work and I don't think that Sasuke has reached the levels of speed yet to where he can just blatantly dodge Kakashi's perception. Um, but, you know, if you're of the interpretation that the Kamui wouldn't work that way, like he'd have to snipe away the pr front part of the Susado and then snipe away Sasuke, maybe there's an argument there because we've never seen like a quick fire back-to-back -back Kamui from Kakashi, but he does have like seven of them things in the chamber. So um, I, I personally lean Kakashi's direction, but I, I also know like a lot of that stuff is interpretational depending on how you, you know, interpret what the data books say and what the feeds show. Loco, what you got? So we've talked about this several times before. I've talked about it on Lightning Snow's channel, but um, as soon as Sasuke gains the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, it's stated that he surpassed Itachi in all forms of ninjutsu and dojutsu. So once again, his eyes are just ever increasing. Uh, this would also fall under the category of genjutsu. So Sasuke's basic EMS genjutsu should be on a similar tier to that of Sukuyomi. Uh, and obviously, uh, we can tell that he is constantly progressing throughout the war art based off of his uh, Susano evolution. Right, so like Lightning Snow said, you can make the assertion that Sasuke has a perfect Susano before he gains uh, the Six Paths and the Renegon from Hagoromo, uh, based off the fact that ha uh, Madara heavily implies that he used the perfect Susano against Hashirama at the Valley of the Inn. When he fights the Five Kage, he's like, yeah, uh, Hashirama is the only one who could stop me in this form, implying that he used it on him. Uh, of course, Madara also wrapped his perfect Susano around the Nine Tails to form the majestic attire Susano, and Sasuke does something similar uh, with Naruto's Kurama avatar. Now, Sasuke's majestic attire looks identical to Madara's, word for word, bar for bar. Everything is the same, right? And it's actually stated in the data books that uh, the perfect—I uh, mean, the armor of the perfect Susano is unique and exclusive to that form only. It cannot be accessed by any lower form of the Susano. So Madara has the perfect Susano, and Sasuke's Susano is identical to Madara's when it's being used as the majestic attire, then it would follow that Sasuke has the perfect Susano with just his EMS, right? So I think that based off of like what I just laid out, Sasuke's abilities are very formidable, even more than they were at the Kage Summit, extremely potent genjutsu, uh, and a very strong Susano, but it all comes down to Kamui. I, I, I will say this, at this point in time, Kakashi is a one-trick pony. This is all he got, right? Kamui is, is the only thing that's like saving him from being slammed, but he does have very good speed feats. Like Sage mentioned, I believe, he was moving uh, at a similar speed to KCM Minato. Uh, now, KCM Minato is just uh, kind of stated to be weaker than KCM2 Naruto, uh, who EMS Sasuke is relative to, but they shouldn't be like super far off in terms of speed either. So Kakashi did get a lot stronger here. It all just depends on what interpretation uh, you fall under for Kamui. Like can, can Kakashi like focus on anything and use Kamui on it, even if he's not looking at it? There's a data book statement that it seems to imply that, which is what uh, my boys have been talking about, but it, it just depends. Like it, it's it, like can, <laughs> Can he hit Sasuke while he's inside of the perfect Susano? Uh, we don't really know. It, it just kind of hinges on that. Yeah, so, okay, so I can even tell that Loco is trying to give Kakashi some winning, some win cons here. So, I, so I, if that's not an indication of how, like, close this could be, but it's my final thought on it. Like, one like one v one. Here's the thing. If they if it goes without the Susano, if Sasuke decides not to whip out the Susano, then I actually think Kakashi takes it because of the speed feats we've seen Kakashi pull off with the Kamui. Um... I'm not saying, like, Sasuke doesn't put up a, a great fight, because he definitely does, but kind of Loco was saying, he is a one-trick pony, like, all he has is Kamui, but Kamui in itself is a lot, I mean, for most opponents, Kamui is all it takes, and so, yeah, like, but I, I would add quickly, too, like, if he just goes into his regular full-body Susano, I still think that he might be able to just snipe the head off of it. 
and, and that would like bypass the uh, like if, if you say that he can't snipe through the susano he might be able to just take the head off because it's really not that large if he is in the the full like you know perfect susano that that thing is way too big for him to snipe that head off before he moves so yeah it, it, I, you said unless he goes into susano i just wanted to clarify if he goes perfect susano and we're we're interpreting kamui that way that's a real problem yeah so in my opinion on the ground, 1v1, Kakashi takes it, but if, at any point, if Sasuke decides to whip out the Susano, I think it's more likely that Sasuke takes it. So now, we'll go on to the final round, well, with two scenarios in the final round. Um, DMS Kakashi versus Renegon Sasuke. So this one, oh boy, I mean, um, we, this one, I, I'm not, I don't think this one was a, a one that we like took forever to to talk about but i think we were pretty yeah. fair on the on the consensus of what it was so all right so loco how about you go first this time so when we're just talking about like sasuke without the nine bijou that he gained at the final valley i'm not gonna lie it pains me to say this but my boy is he's losing right it, it, it depends on how you interpret kakashi's feats against kaguya a lot of people tend to think that he like blitzed her and honestly i think that's like a valid interpretation like i think it is very likely that that kakashi did require speed similar to that of kaguya in order to perform such an impressive feat what like cutting through her shoulder and he also of course he still has that long range kamui which is a very big problem and uh like he has a perfect susano at this point in time and while Sasuke is very strong and extremely hacks, now that Kakashi has the phasing ability for Kamui, really the only thing Sasuke can do, other than like use Genjutsu, is just try to wait out the, the DMS timer. Like Kakashi can't stay in that form forever. So really, Sasuke is just going to have to be using like Amido Teji Kara to switch places with Kakashi whenever he attempts to use Kamui on him, uh, stuff like that. He's really going to be on the back foot there, so... I don't see how my boy is winning this one. I would say that, you know, this should be a lot closer than it is, but whenever you examine the databook statement for Kamui Raikiri, you see that it says that he's able to use the phasing ability in conjunction with the Kamui Raikiri, which means that he can use both the offensive and defensive applications of Kamui simultaneously, and that is a huge problem. Because what that means is he can continuously phase and potentially use the long-range Kamui or Kamui Shuriken or something like that while just like being completely immune to anything Sasuke has. So he's just probably too fast. I, I would argue that DMS Kakashi is faster than this version of Sasuke outside of teleportation, of course. But um, because of the fact that, you know, Sasuke and Naruto were sort of struggling with this Kaguya that then gets chakra from the god tree and then is stated by zetsu to get exponentially faster and stronger and then kakashi just like reacts to and blitzes her so he should be a blitz here above this sasuke he should be able to avoid basically all of his attacks and he has infinite attack potency like you know like if he hits you with that it's done so uh yeah i, I give this a dms kakashi honestly 10 times out of 10 yeah uh i have to agree as well you know i, I so is the pride uh, but no, uh, I, I, yeah, DMS Kakashi, I mean, I mean, I think we all can agree that DMS Kakashi is one of, if not the broke, most broken, like, trick in anime. And so that's what I was saying, is like, you know, you, you can't block Kamui, and you, you can't really hit a Kamui user, so it's like, you know, I, like, like Logo said, if, if Sasuke is somehow able to, uh, outlast Kakashi in a timer, uh, for DMS, which, honestly, like, I'm not saying this is an excuse, but like we don't really know how long that timer. Because realistically, he only lost DMS the moment Obito decided to peace out. Like, yeah. if he really wanted to get technical about it, like Obito decided to peace out, and then he lost DMS. So it it, it, it may also. I mean, I'm not saying it is for it as a fact, but it might just depend on how long Obito decides to actually chill in you know Kakashi. Even though he did say it had a fixed time limit, I just think it's a bit odd that he just lost it whenever Obito decided to to leave. But either way, though, like. I'd say, you know, at max, you know, five minutes is what he has. And five minutes is a long time in a fight like this. So I, I agree. I think Kakashi does win. If Sasuke, if Sasuke is, I do think Sasuke is capable of surviving. You know, I, I think he does give a, a, you know, a good fight to Kakashi. Uh, some might say that I'm, you know, giving Sasuke a little bit too much credit. Uh, I, I do think that he does put up a good fight. But I also think that, you know, Sasuke's inability with his running on, at least, you know, that inability, Inex is inexperienced because he did say that he was you know he was getting used to it by the time the war arc was wrapping up so like he's not a professional with it yet so that might play a 
you know, a part in it, you know, whereas Kakashi's kind of, you know, more or less an expert with, you know, how his, you know, his combo works and whatnot. He's kind of new to the phasing thing, but it kind of seems like he picked up the Susano like it was nothing. So I, I will agree. I think Kakashi does win this one. Now, the second round, though, is where we get a little bit uh, on the other end, where we have Sasuke with the 9 Biju powering him up, powering Susano up, fighting DMS Kakashi. Uh, Sage, do you want to go first in this one? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think this is a lot closer just because Sasuke has just an overwhelming amount of power added to his arsenal. He gets faster, stronger, and built to last longer. But the, um, <laughs> what the problem <laughs> is... As uh the 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 problem is he's he still in my opinion hasn't shown anything that should allow for him to eclipse um Kakashi's speed so Kakashi should still have a speed advantage in my opinion it really comes down to how you feel about Takamori you know because I I think with the force and the might that he has he should be able to I know Loco's pointed this out before just like destroy Kakashi Susano in one hit like Kaguya's bow and ash was able to like crack it he's not going to destroy Kakashi in one hit because Kakashi will just phase through it if Kakashi is not able to like take down that Susano with a Kamui shuriken or something uh then you basically just have to lean on the interpretation that he can bypass you know the Susano with his Kamui because at this point his Kamui is verifiably faster than like even his blitz tier above Kagi itself because he's able to warp away Kaguya's portal uh, with the Bone Ash, and that, in a shorter amount of time than it took for K uh, Six Pass Sage with Naruto to move like two inches. So, his Kamui should be a blitz tier above Sasuke, but it's just a matter of whether or not you think it gets past the Susano or not. So, to me, I lean in the direction of Kakashi, but if you don't lean on that interpretation, then Sasuke probably gets his dub. So, for me, I, I would probably also lean more towards Kakashi just on the fact of yeah I mean Sasuke is no rest in peace if you're fighting this guy any other opponent aside from Naruto and Kakashi in my opinion but like uh I don't know I because again Kakashi's adaptable and with him being able to like his performance against Kaguya uh, is is phasing and like, like his bone the bone ash like itself like I said pierced through the Susano first and like Kakashi was able to phase like was quick enough to phase through it the second it went through the, the Susano. assuming Sasuke's got anything that's either on par with that level of speed uh you know in his arsenal I, I don't I don't know I don't know if I would say like he's got anything that's faster than what Kaguya was able to put out I'd probably say that Kakashi's react time to anything else that Sasuke has would probably be the same thing. Especially if, like, it's the same case where, let's say that Sa uh, Kakashi is above Sasuke when fighting. Like, similar to how he was when Kaguya was fighting him. And Sasuke tries to fight, like, a fireball or, like, a Susano arrow or whatever at uh, Kakashi. Same thing happens. Like, Kakashi could just, like, phase through the, the Susano arrow itself and just blitz Sasuke with the Kamui lightning blade the same way he did with uh Kaguya so it, it, it is it is weird it's a weird fight for me I, I would again I still think it's a lot more likely this time around that Sasuke does and can outlast the 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 Kamui timer or the DMS timer I still think that Kakashi does a little bit too hacks for this Sasuke even with the nine BG powering up uh I, I'm sorry I had to give it to Kakashi, but Loco, what you got? Yeah, it looks like I stand alone on this one. <laughs> Sasuke is slamming him. Oh, nah, but <laughs> like Sage mentioned, um, at this point in time, Sasuke is, is shown to, like, body Naruto's Kurama avatars uh, whenever he has, like, the Bijou chakra absorbed into him already, obviously. Uh, and Naruto's uh, Kurama avatars are just shown to be on a similar caliber to um, Sasuke's perfect Susano. And Sasuke beat up, like, I think three or four of them at once pretty easily. He was uh, blocking all of their attacks and everything. So I think Sasuke's Indra Susano would easily be able to piece up Kakashi's perfect Susano. Really no difficulty, to be honest. And after Kakashi's Susano is down, he's just kind of going to be, like, you know, running around on the ground while Sasuke can just, like, shoot some attacks at him or whatever. I don't think Indra's arrow would work because like Higashi could Kami and phase through it, right? But all Sasuke really needs to do now is just run out the timer. The Kami, like Kakashi has no way of hitting him with a Kami Raikiri. He just has to rely on the long range Kami and we're still inconclusive if whether or not that would be able to um, hit Sasuke inside of his Susano. So really once DMS Kakashi Susano is down, there's no threat of Kamui shurikens or any other like crazy weird abilities or anything like that. So I think Sasuke 
should just be able to win this one relatively easily. Uh, at, at this point in time, in the final valley, Karama states that his experience with the Renegon has increased significantly. He compares him to the likes of Hagoromo when it comes to controlling the Bijou's chakra. Um, so yeah, I think Sasuke has like a very sizable advantage in terms of power and speed here. So I think uh, he should just make short work of Kakashi. If he ever needs to like uh, like make a quick getaway, Amino Tejikara is a very valid uh, uh, counter to Kamui. And he could just teleport away, basically. So I think I think Sasuke should take this one. All right. Well, we 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 gave our opinions on each of these rounds. Now, like here's the thing: is we were gonna do the uh, Boruto era of uh, these two characters. We're gonna do Boruto Sasuke and Boruto Kakashi. But the thing is, well, we've already done a video about that. Technically, uh, <laughs> in our uh, Team Seven Boruto era free for all video. So. If you guys want to know more about that, like, specific round, uh, just go ahead and watch that video. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, but honestly, man, I think we got through this video a lot cleaner than what I thought we were going to. I can, well, I can go out of <laughs> Like, no arguments, y'all. I, I, it, just let you know, there it is possible. It is possible to get through a video and record it without not getting pissed. Like, I'm not even kidding around. Yeah. Like, and, and like, I'm, I'm being dead serious because, like, that was one of the things I was worried about because I know, like, I know how we all are. You know, we we, 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 we had Sasuke fans, we had Kakashi fans, and I, there was a fear of mine that we we're going to, like, go to war here. But no, but we, we, that's what we we're talking about. Even in the recording, we, like, before we started recording, we were actually very, like, genuine about, like, what we thought, how we thought about it, the rounds, you know, why we thought this, why we thought, thought that. And honestly, man, I don't think we've gotten any cleaner of a, of a consensus, even if we did, you know, disagree at the end of the day. It was yeah. very well. Like I, I enjoyed this one, y'all. This was actually one of my favorite recordings ever. So, um, thank you, Sage. Thank you, Loco, for being on this awesome video with me uh, again. Dude, no problem. It's always good to be uh, be on here collabing with you boys. So, you know, if you guys haven't subscribed to Loco Loco or Lightning, make sure you guys check out their stuff. They both got really good stuff coming out. Um, and you know, hey, hit that notification bell too, so you never miss out when new content drops, baby. Yeah, always love coming on here. You know, trying my hardest to spit some facts. Love hanging out with my boys, Lightning Snow and Sage of Thick Cavs, two of the most golden creators in the space. But yeah, I had a really fun time, and yeah, I think we did a great job for sure, for sure. So yeah, like 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 Sage said, if you haven't subscribed to any of us, be sure to do so. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Sage's channel, subscribe to Logo's channel. We're all coming out with new content, uh, you know, all the time, and we're we're getting together and collabing some more. So, be sure to uh, click the notification bell for more notifications. Uh, again, thank you for watching to the end of the video. If you have, you are a champion of my champions. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Until my next one, like to snow out.